Okay, guys, welcome back to Let's Play Majora's Mask with Classic Gamer Dave. Now, I just have to... There's... I just want to get the stray fairy, and then... Keep... Then, I guess, go look for the other chests or wherever I need to go. To get the... To get that key. I'm just not sure what I'm... Where I'm supposed to go to do that. Oh, man. So, yeah, we have to go in here and get that... Chest that was upside down on the ceiling. Uh, okay, so we need to activate the switch here. Oh, we're gonna need to. Yeah. Oh, wait. That that actually might be the small key. And in fact, I'm almost positive it is. Dang it! So where's the last strafe? It must be. Oh. Okay, it's all making sense now. God, I'm. Ugh, I'm silly. <laughs> okay, so let's get up here and try to avoid these guys. And then I'm gonna play the Song of Soaring. Yeah, once I get this... Yeah, it's the small key. I'm gonna play the Song of Soaring and just warp back to the beginning of the temple. So that just makes it easy. Okay, I'm, I think I know what I'm doing now. <laughs> now that... Ugh. I just feel so... Dumb. I don't know. I knew what I had to do, I just wasn't thinking clearly. The map is really confusing as far as like reading it to understand where you need to go and where you in relation to where you are. So yeah, that's it's definitely I can understand why I, I was thinking what I the stuff like I can't really explain to you how I was looking at the map, but I just wasn't looking at it right, and just, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, whoops. Um, I wonder what happens if you shoot him with a light arrow. Oh, it blinds him. Well, I guess we get a free shot off on him then. <laughs> oh, maybe not. Uh, there we go. Yep, just get up next to him, avoid his hit, and shoot him in the eyeball. Pretty easy. All right, there we go. Now let's continue on. Oh, wait. Oh yeah, yeah. Wait, what is this? Oh, I know what this is. Oh my god, I completely forgot this was here. Well, that makes a lot of sense, actually. There we go, we get the giant's mask. So... It says we can't just use it anywhere. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what it said in the description. I kind of zoomed past it. Uh, okay, so what's this switch do? Oh! And then that's how we get to the boss door. Okay. And that actually is a stray fairy chest, too. So, basically what we have to do... We're going to go fight the boss. Um... Do you, mem you remember that room that had, like, the rupees in it and stuff? Um, well, no. I'm, I'll meet you back at the entrance to the, f to the right side up temple. Okay, see you in a second. Alright, we're back at the entrance again. Now, we can go around and actually face this boss. So, I'm going to take the long way, because, I mean, that's what you have to do. Um, we need our Zora mask. But we should be able to do this fairly quickly, I think. Especially with, uh... Our, um, everything's, everything should be pretty much done. Um, we don't need to do any of this. This door should be open. Yeah, see? We don't have to do any of that. So yeah, it's not so bad. We don't have to do the mini-boss. We do have to do this. But we don't have to do, like, the... <laughs> the friggin going around as a Goron thing, so yeah, everything should be pretty good. I, I was thinking about skipping this, but yeah, I decided it was it was short enough. And seeing as this is a pseudo blind uh, run of the temple, and I say blind, it's not really blind because I've done all these temples before, and obviously I'm just doing it without a guide. Like I'm not. I haven't practiced it or done it in a long time and just 
long, long time. So, so that's that's why I say pseudo blind. Blind enough for me, I guess I should say. Okay, so what am I doing here? Um, the chest uh, is down here or something. Where's that chest at? Oh. Well, crap. So how do we get over here while the temple's upside down? Okay, well we got all the stray fairies. At least we could, at least we got that out of the way. We have to go here when the temple's upside down. And so I'll meet you back at the entrance of the temple with the temple upside down again. All right. I'll see you in a minute. Okay. So we're back again. And now we have to get <laughs> to that same spot we were just in, but in the upside down version of the temple. So we need to figure this out. I've got everything I need in the temple. There are no more chests or anything. And so let's see. I think I just go. Maybe I just... No, wait. I'm not sure how to get across the room here. I'll figure it out in just a second. Uh, hopefully. It should be... Should just... Mm, I don't know where I'm going. This is bad. Alright, I need to look at the map. Okay, I'm back. So, I figured out what I needed to do. I feel kind of dumb, but... Oh, we, had to, we were in the right room earlier. But I wasn't paying attention. I, uh, I looked it up. I wasn't... I got bored looking around what to do, so... I just wanted to get the LP moving along, so... Alright, we have to go back into this room, and... If you look right up from here... Yeah. I thought maybe there was a different way to get into this room, and I couldn't really remember, because I th thought this ceiling extended all the way over, like, this, what I'm standing on here, so... I feel dumb, but... I just want to glitch through the log. Can I do that? No. Oh well. So we get on the other side of this, bam, boom, boss door. There we go. So here we are, at the end of the temple. All our stray fairies in, in our hands and everything, so... That didn't take as long as I thought it would, I'll be honest. So, I'm just gonna hookshot into this and fall down into this pit. Alright. Oh god. Oh god! Uh... Those are giant. I'm not... I don't feel safe. <laughs> Those look angry. So we know these from other Zelda games, but why are they so big? They weren't big in the other games. So it's pretty obvious what we need to do here. We need the giant's mask. Now this is almost... This is pretty much the main reason I drank the Chateau of Romani. I, uh... Because this, this consumes uh, magic energy. So between all the light arrows that we need to shoot and everything, it's just best to, to drink that. Alright. Yeah, these guys are really easy. Especially if, if you have the Chateau Romani. It's just like, no problem. And the blade we have and everything. Yeah, it's all good. Alright. So get over here. Die, motherfucker, die. You're going down. Man, we're just kicking their ass right now. If this was a three heart run, this would not be the tactic you'd want to take, but... You know what? I'm not doing a three heart run, so just... Go balls out. Let them let touch you a bit. <laughs> we, we do have four bottles of fairies, if not five. No, we have four, and then we have a bottle of milk, so... That was a long death sequence right there. But yeah. So now we just got the other one. 
Your friend is dead. And so soon you will be. Because we're Link, the hero of time. Okay. Um, I'm just kind of flailing my sword wildly. But it works, so... Alright. Come back here and fight like a monster you are. Yeah, this is pretty much all there is to it. And there it is. That's... That's it. Stone Tower Temple, done. And will you die already? Jeez. There we go. Awesome. And done. So let's uh, become normal sized. Unless we can pick this up. No, we can't. This big, gigantic link. That's so awesome. I think you can use that in any boss room. Or, it, actually, it may only be this room. I'm not sure. It actually might just be this room. Which kind of sucks, but at the same time, <laughs> they don't want you all stomping around in clock down or something with it on. <laughs> Breaking the game. Okay. So with that, we have to talk to one of these giant dudes again. With the screen all blurry and weird. Like it's clouds flashbacks or something stupid. <laughs> Well, we've helped all of you. That's that's all we can do. That's true. You're the last one. Call us. Okay. We'll give you a call. Give us your number. No, we just have to... Without being told, we understand. So now you'll help us out in exchange. Okay. So we have to do Oath to Order from atop the clock tower. And that'll stop the moon, I guess. Then what about Skull Kid? Huh. It'll be a little while before we get to this. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. We've got quite a bit of uh, side questing to do. Ugh. There's one in particular that I'm not all that looking forward to. There's the biggest side quest in the game. Um, we have to do it twice in order to get both the items at the end of it. So, depending on how that, that goes, um, I may be able to show some different things the second time than the first time, but I'm going to try to show as much as I can the first time. And if I get to it all, I'm going to do the second time off screen and then show you how to do the ending different that makes it work. So what's going on here? Some light shot up into the sky. Oh, the sky cleared. You know, it's cool the first after the first two temples, like you can really see the changes that happen, especially Snowhead Mountain. Or after you do Snowhead Temple, the Goron village and everything. Everything just looks so much better. Even the the poisonous water in the southern swamps gets clean after you do the temple, but like the last area and this area just don't do anything. Okay. So we have to go into this building right here, and then this is the uh, fairy fountain. So let's give her her uh, give her, her fairy shits and see what she gives us. Here you go. Here's your pieces of you. The most ugly fairy sprites I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and the great fairies are not that much better looking themselves, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, we gave you your shit. You're the great fairy of kindness. So what are you going to give us? A teddy bear or something? Are you going to give us a 3DS? I'd take that. As thanks, I grant you the fairy sword. What? A new sword, but we got the gr the best sword in the game, didn't we? Well, you have to set it to C to use it. Alright, okay. Black roses etched in it. This is... Oh, if the black roses weren't etched in it, it wouldn't be the most powerful blade? <laughs> but yeah. Uh, it's it's a two-handed blade just like the Biggeron sword, so you can't use your shield with it. But also you have to set it to C to use it. It's kind of it's kind of awkward actually. Um, I'll demonstrate it a bit. Like your normal sword, you swing it like like it's horizontal when you're standing still, and if you're moving forward, you swing it like over your shoulder. 
but when you use the great fairy sword its angle is just a little bit strange like and you can't charge it up that's that's another thing that kind of sucks about it but it's powerful as fuck like that wasn't a good example but <laughs> it is trust me on that one so i think yeah i've only i'm at 15 minutes so i'm actually going to end the video here and then next time we'll start all the side questing stuff we've got all all the owl statues unlocked so we can go anywhere pretty easily and yeah next time we'll start getting some heart pieces and some masks so that'll be pretty fun so i'll see you guys then till then keep it classic die dumb bird <laughs>